Hello, everyone. Pastor Dave here. And uh, we recently had a leadership retreat at our church. And one of the things that the leaders uh, said, you know, would be we need to do more often is to give updates on how the church is doing. And so uh, we're now a month into the new year. And so I thought I'd share a few highlights, a few good things that came out of the month of December. Um, first, we finished the year strong in attendance. I had shared in November how we were at that point uh, tracking about 20% above our 2022 attendance, and that continued to be the case. And when we finished the year, our in-person attendance was about 20% more than what it had been in 2022. And so on Christmas Eve, for instance, we had more than 500 people above what we had the previous year for Christmas Eve attendance. So to me, that's a wonderful sign that our church is a place where a lot of people are finding connection and hope, and I hope that will continue to be the case as we move forward in the coming year. Uh, giving has also been strong. Uh, this is wonderful news that in 2023, we had the highest giving we've had in my six years here as a pastor. We finished the year with uh, $1.43 million dollars uh, received from the church. And that is simply amazing. Just July through December, which is our, you know, our fiscal year begins July 1. July through December, we are 15% above where we were last year, uh, the previous year in giving just for those six months. So we are celebrating these things. And of course, to take it back to Christmas, uh, we celebrate that this year, uh, we were able to raise $38,000 for SAWS, Servants at Work, to help build wheelchair ramps in the coming year. And that 38,000 isn't even included in all those numbers I was sharing before. That was giving over and above the money we receive and operate on as a church. So thank you for your generosity. And um, we hope you'll continue, we will continue to keep that going as we go into the new year. Uh, the, over the, as we enter into the new year, one of the things we've been working on is our church membership. Uh, we don't know exactly what's going to come in the future with the general conference of, the, of our denomination. We know the general conference will be meeting April 23rd to May 3rd of this year, and they'll be deciding some very important questions uh, around the issue of same-sex marriage. There will be a lot of legislation that is before them. We're not sure what's going to pass, and we're not sure because of that what uh, decisions there will be for us as a local church to make, but we want to be prepared for that. And so we've been encouraging people to check their membership status and to join the church if they wish to have a voice, a uh, say in that coming uh, vote, whether it's this year or some future year where that takes place. So I can celebrate that uh, over the last few weeks, as we've done that on Sunday mornings, we've uh, had 20 people who were, have been long-term um, parts of our church, uh, constituents of our church, but had not actually uh, joined in terms of membership. And so we had 20 people who uh, who moved their membership, who uh, had, had been part of our church for a long time, and this coming Sunday we have an additional 21 people who are new to our church who will be joining our uh, and becoming official members as well. So we celebrate that. And if you are in question, uh, you know, we want to be sure that you are a member of the church, just please contact our church office and we can make sure and give you the information you need and share with you, if you're not a member, how you can go about making that happen in the coming year. Um, last thing I want to share with you is we have a new website. Very excited about it. Many thanks to John Elligood, our Director of Communications, and Kara Connolly, who is our communication intern, who worked most of last year in order to, uh, uh, to make the website a possibility. So we hope you'll go to the new website, check it out. But I especially want to call your attention to uh, a page under the Resources tab called Denominationals Updates. That's a page where we will, throughout the year, between now and April and beyond, continue to give updates on what's taking place in our denomination so you can get trustworthy, reliable resources, articles, and links that'll help you fully understand what's taking place in our church and how we can be best prepared for it. Uh, I said the last thing, but I have two quick puttings. First, this Sunday, February 4th, we're celebrating a mission fair, and so we hope you'll come and join us and take advantage of this opportunity to learn about all the ways that we're connected in the community and how you can be part of our service ministry here at the church. And then also, I hope you put on your calendars that the season of Lent begins February 14th on Ash Wednesday. And yes, I know that's also Valentine's Day, 
And um, But what better way to kick off uh, your date night with your spouse or your loved one by coming and getting ashed at church? Uh, please, though, our Ash Wednesday service will be at 7 o'clock that evening. And whether you're here with us in person, joining us live stream, or just journeying with us this season of Lent, it'll be a wonderful time as we spend time reflecting on Jesus' Sermon on the Mount as we prepare for the good news of Easter and the resurrection. So that's all the updates I have for you today. We'll do this about once a month. And so uh, in the meantime, hope you're having your 2024s off to a great start. Take care.